Hi Leo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, we're going to do your messages from Spirit and your angels. And know that uh, these messages can be about any area in your life. It's not specific to love, but if it resonates for you, uh, just take the messages how they come to you. Listen to your thoughts and your feelings. So also want to say uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. You can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All of that information is below. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna pull your cards. We'll start your reading. Also want to say thank you for all of your likes, shares, uh, subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate you. Um, you do help me grow, and thank you for connecting with me. So with that, Leo. Oh, Okay, we're gonna turn that over. <laughs> we not ready yet. We're gonna pull. Oh, there's two cards there. Let's get one card there. All right. So we pulled your energy center here, the energy around you. I'm gonna pull three cards here. Um, this is from the Angel Answer Doc. You can ask a question. There is yes and no in here. And so we're gonna see what your angels have to say. Okay. So can be the answer to your question or just uh, angel guidance here for you. Okay, there's your three messages. And then finally here, we're going to pull your last message, which is postcards from spirit. This is a message from spirit, your spirit guides and your angels, uh, I'm sorry, your ancestors. It's very detailed, um, very insightful. I get a lot of great feedback, so stick it out to the end if you can. And let's get started. Okay, nice energy here, uh, Leo. We'll start here. You have bright future. So the goddess of bright future, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, so uh, definitely feels like an energy here. There's some abundance coming here. Okay, it's on its way here. It definitely kind of feels like, uh, you know, the sun energy here. Okay, a lot of potential, happiness growth, prosperity, okay, so don't worry is what they're saying here. You also have here the goddess of inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay, all right? So they're saying here, Leo, you have a lot of experience. You have a lot of wisdom, but maybe something here you're needing to take some sort of action, but they're saying you'll know what to do, okay, in regards to something here with your future, all right. Interesting, interesting. Let's see what we got here. Okay, it feels like, okay, um, Leo, as I said, it can be in any area of your life. The center of your energy is the 10 of Michael, okay? It says a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you, okay? So I feel like it's this energy that you're gracefully putting an end to something, right? You're taking that final bow. Uh, yeah, bow. <laughs> I don't know if I was saying that word right, right? You're, you're taking that bow, right, gracefully here. A situation I feel... Um, that is ending for you. It definitely shows with the hangman that you're seeing things in a different light, a different perspective. Some of you, it may be that you may have been in a period of limbo, right? Uh, feeling like you didn't have a lot of movement here. That could be the action here that you're being guided to take, right? Closing out a cycle here um, uh, in the past, okay? Now, you have the Justice card here, which is nice. Justice energy, Libra energy. So I feel like um, there's some, I feel this is energy of good karma, to be honest with you. I feel there's a situation that is ending here in your life, and I feel with this Bright Future card, you know, it's um, an energy here of good karma. But I'm also getting an energy, something may have come to an end or something may be ending where you felt like you weren't treated right. Um, but I feel like you're going to find your own clarity here. You're going to find your own justice. You do have the chariot too at the, the top of your read here. And 
could be dealing with a Cancerian, but I feel like this is an energy here of you taking control and moving forward, right? Uh, leaving something behind is really what it's showing me here, okay? Some of you I feel here, um, this could be the end of a court case. If you got some sort of legal situation, there could be uh, the end of a court case. Maybe some of you are doing some traveling here or now you feeling like you can finally uh, move forward, right, towards this bright future. You also have here the King of Wands. So Leo, I feel like with this energy too, I feel like this is all about you in control, taking action here, having a plan, right? Very confident, assertive energy and wisdom. You got everything here that it takes, plus good karma. So I feel this is an energy here, uh, Leo, where you're taking control here. And I'm going to clarify, why is the Ten of Michael here, please? Why is the Ten of Michael here? What's this ending? What can you show, Leo? So you got the Six of Cups. You have the Nine of Swords. Okay, it could be the end of worrying about a situation, a past situation. You have the Three of Pentacles, okay? So this could be about um, something on your mind here that you're, will, you're wanting to work out here with the Three of Pentacles, okay? So some of you, you know, this could be some sort of project. I'm going to say um, it could be a work project or... Uh, collaboration uh, with other people. Uh, I'm going to say here too, it feels like a love situation as well. So if this is a situation that's been on your mind and you were nonstop thinking about it and it, it feels like somebody from the past, it could be, it doesn't have to be love. It could be somebody from your past that you felt just didn't do you right. Okay. With the justice card or like I said, a legal situation that's finally coming to a close here. It's going to end that worry. Okay. But um, whatever the energy is here, okay, um, for some of you, I feel the energy like you're not going to miss the, the worry here about it. For others, I feel, um, you know, could definitely be here a soulmate, could be a friend, family member, um, uh, or a love situation here. Maybe a love situation you were hoping to work out, right? Hoping for some sort of message. Now, it doesn't mean that it's not going to come, but I see the energy here. You're not letting, um, you're not waiting, right? You're not, you're not um, putting your life on hold or keeping yourself in limbo, waiting for a message from somebody, okay? Um, anymore, all right? Or for some of you, I feel like this is, a uh, possibly here a legal situation that's closing okay some of you could even be a a legal separation or divorce okay so let's see here why is the king of wands here why is the king of wands here please four of swords two of wands yeah yeah, it, it, it's the same energy here. Yeah, whatever the situation was that's very worrisome for you, the Five of Pentacles, you weren't getting a whole lot out of it, okay? It's showing me an energy here of lack. Um, and that's why they're saying here, you have the wisdom here to take some sort of action because you have the Four of Swords, the Two of Wands, and you have the Magician. So I see you really seriously thinking about the future, uh, possibly here a new path taking a new path right and taking that action and making things happen as the magician and again it's telling you you have all the resources you need to do this right you have that wisdom plus you have everything else right you have stability your own stability your own emotions right you're you're very logical type of energy. So you have all of the four elements, right? To take the needed action here, right? To move forward. Some of you, I feel like there could be some sort of home move, right? We may be making a decision to make a home move here, okay? Uh, maybe leaving past friends, uh, you know, family here, people you love behind, maybe that was the worry. And maybe you, you, you know, you uh, weren't really doing anything or taking the needed action. So that could be an example here, right? A home move. So I feel like this is really about you having, you know, the wisdom knowledge to, to take action so that you can move forward. Why is the chariot here, please? Okay, page of wands. 
Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, okay, and the Star card. So I feel like they're saying there's definitely hope here in the future. You're going to find your balance here. You're, whatever you've been through, you're healing, right? There's still hope for a hopeful future, a new journey here with the Fool card, right? I feel like you're needing to take that risk, that leap of faith. Um, clarifying the Chariot, you have the Page of Wands, the Nine of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. So... I feel what they're saying here. Yes, it's a new journey, okay? You're going to feel excited again. You're going to feel motivated again, whatever, you know, situation it is. Some of you, you you know, it could have been a job ending here and you're having to learn something new, right? Um, it's an energy here too with the nine of wands and the five of cups, right? It's an energy here that, they, yeah, there's probably been some past disappointments here, but you're not giving up. You're persevering here. Right, you're persevering here because you are the one who is in control, making things happen here. Okay, and it's not about making things happen with other people, it's making things happen for you. Right, taking that action and making the decision to move forward and put something behind you. You have the Ten of Pentacles here, and I feel it's an energy here where you're moving forward uh, towards your stability here. This is your bright future, this Ten of Pentacles here, okay? But just because you had these disappointments here, right, um, I feel here they're saying that you got a bright future. You got stability here, right? There were disappointments along the way. They may have distracted you here with the Chariot card, uh, but you're going to feel more motivated. You're going to feel more excited, okay? They're telling you there is hope. There's a new journey here, okay? And uh, whatever you're putting to rest here, right, is helping you create a new beginning. So let's see. Yeah, look at that. You have not the right time. So they're telling you here that the, whatever the situation was for you, it ended because it wasn't the right timing. You also have here reconsider and ask your angels. Okay, so I feel like this is about you, you know, looking at the situation, gaining your clarity here, right? Maybe you were, you know, in limbo. Maybe you were waiting for something to happen that just never happened, right? Or it wasn't the right timing. And they're saying here you need to reconsider your options, right? Make things happen. Move forward because there is a bright future, right? Uh, don't put yourself on hold, right, for another situation that may not be quite ready. And they're telling you, you can ask your angels here. You can ask them for insight. You know, um, they will communicate through your, your thoughts and your feelings. So let's read your message here from Spirit and your angels. It says, Dearest Leo, do you ever wonder whether your ideas and inspiration might be coming through your soul rather than generated from your mind alone? We are here to tell you we are always whispering in your ear, your ear about your highest good. And I was just saying that. They're going to send you messages through your thoughts and your feelings. We are conduits for spirit letting you know you are living, you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on this earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirit in nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved, okay? Definitely here, Leo, uh, you know, it's definitely what I was saying here. You're going to be feel more motivated. You're going to feel more inspired. Um, it's an energy here of not giving up, okay? So very nice message there for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.